Greetings viewers, this is CP666 signing on. And you can tell that this is going to be a slightly different video. Not only is the audio crap, but we are looking at a Windows 98 virtual machine. And from the title of the video that you are watching right now, you can see that we are going to be testing some malware. I have a channel dedicated to this. Uh, there is a link in the video description right now to it but I'm not real sure how much longer that channel is going to be staying up because my eventual plan, if this all works out, is to just get rid of it. And I may just do that anyway, even if this does not work out. Basically, I found that people don't watch the videos on that channel. And if I'm going to do this, because it takes some time, and half of these that I test don't even work, it is probably in my best interest to upload them somewhere where somebody's going to see them, so we'll see how this goes. The Arctic Bomb Windows Trojan is something I've already tested, but I am going to be testing it again because, well, you'll see. First and foremost, have a look at the icon that it uses. That's a pretty nice icon right there. So, it's not really much to say here. It's about 125 kilobytes in size. So, we are just going to go ahead and run it. Not a whole lot happens. Until that happens. Which is insanely badass. So, this is where the Arctic portion comes from. You can see it changes our desktop to this lovely shade of gray, which looks kind of like snow. Except I don't think snow is quite that gray. I think snow is actually more white than gray, but anyway. This is where the bomb comes in. Run DLL32 is gone. The desktop is gone. The start menu is screwed. And... Well, Task Manager still exists. Explorer is gone, which is really bad. Can't even start the program manager. Go to browse. Desktop is not accessible. Yep, we're screwed. So I think you can probably guess exactly what's going to happen when I go ahead and reset the machine. Yep, dead. And that is it for the Arctic Bomb Windows Trojan. I like it because it is very in your face, which is sort of the point of a Trojan, but there's no like message boxes or any rigmarole that the user has to go through. It just destroys everything. It's just like, yeah, you downloaded this. Yeah, you're screwed. Bah, goodbye all your data. Hope you had backups. I'll teach you not to create backups. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, certainly feel free to leave them down below. Like I said, I'm hoping that malware test videos will be uploaded. Not to take over the channel, but certainly every once in a while. Uh, the videos that are uploaded to the previous channel, if this whole experiment does work out, will be ported to this channel. And anything that I've recorded for that channel will also be uploaded here. So I'm hoping that uh, you folks like it. So until next time, that's it. And hopefully we will have something that may be a little bit more interesting here in the very near future.